Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Oski. D Train. And we are Perfect Sound Entertainment. Make sure you subscribe right now to www.heritagehiphop.com. That's right. Alright, everybody. So in hip hop, right? Hip hop is bigger than just who you are and what your sound is. To have a perfect sound, you have to have a mission. So please. Introduce yourselves to the people. Hey, what's going on, world? My name is Oski. d <laughs> president of Perfect Sound Entertainment. Oh, I'm sorry. CEO, by the way. <laughs> you know, young entrepreneurs, but um, yeah, man, we are Perfect Sound Entertainment. We kicking it right here with Karev and Heritage Hip Hop, man. So now, my favorite, my favorite tagline is let's make history. Who is Perfect Sound Entertainment and where do you come from? Perfect Sound Entertainment. We're independent label from the Ironbound section of Nook. Hyatt Court to be exact. Hyatt Court Projects. World famous Hyatt Court Projects. World famous Hyatt Court Projects. Put that out there first. Man. That's right. And so that in itself is something that we're going to tackle. <laughs> All right? Do it. Because whenever you think of Brick City, you have certain key elements. Broad Street, Market Street, Avon Ave, Isabella. What does it mean to represent a part of North? that is so rich in culture, yet so forgotten about in conversation. Mm -hmm. it means everything, man. You know, growing up, you know, down there, born and raised, the history of your community, you know, you want that to live on, and you want to represent that very well. So, you know, no matter where you go in the city, throughout the world, you know, you want to always make sure you represent where you're from very well. Especially being from down bottom. That's like overshadowed. Like that's like the last part of Newark before you even hit Jersey City. So some people, some some people tend to forget about you know down there in that in that section, especially in Ironbound. Yeah. But in the history of Newark, that's been some of where the best battles have ever taken place. Because <laughs> in, in, battles, bro. Like see, that's something I ain't know. I ain't know that. See, like <laughs> there's a beef between Newark and Jersey City that goes back to like '87. Am I right? '87, '88. It, and the beef was Jersey City was closer to New York so they felt like they had an advantage over North when it came to hip hop. Mm -hmm. So that's why they always said Jersey City is a beast of its own. They were like the Wolverine and North was like the pit bull. And when you get a pit and a Wolverine together yeah. it, it, it just goes, you know, some bloodshed. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So when people went and met up at like the multiplex that's when the battles got really serious in that part. Yeah, I heard, I heard about some, some stories like that. <laughs> oh yeah, so, so I mean Y'all are right there. Y'all are front line to living in the area with some of the greatest hip hop battles, MC battles, breakdance battles, graffiti battles that ever taken place. History, man. Shout out to Tag, the art god. Rest in peace, Govmatic, because that was his first name. He's he was the green on graffiti. Yeah. And that is your land. So what styles do you bring that maybe the so called greater Nork doesn't understand you bring to the table? Um. Originality, man. You know, um, moving off of you know your character, your personality. You know, putting that, you know, front. You know, putting that first. Being being original. Yeah, originality has always been key in hip hop, and I love that about both of you because being a child of collective, y'all have two different types of hip hop that y'all tackle. Yeah. Same messages. Two different avenues of getting the message. We talk heard. about that all the time. That's yeah. that's that's what makes us a, a different type. <laughs> like you know what I'm saying. Especially when we perform together, it's like yeah. you're gonna get this sound from O, and he got the hype too, but more conscious and, and talking. And I tend to there's a lot of truth with our music. Whether it's yeah. I bring the hype level. If you actually listen to what I'm saying, I'm actually saying so. It's just not hype, and you're singing along. You actually get a message from me, and it's, that's what makes us unique, man. Yeah, I mean, when I'm a fan, like I said, I'm not everybody's fan, but y'all do so many things that are <laughs> relevant to hip hop before music. And we're gonna touch on that a little bit later. But I've seen the live show and I've seen exactly what you bring. And one thing that I see that you bring is not just the hype, as you said, and you bring the message, you bring the essence of unity, peace, love, and having fun. Mm. Why do you think that is the determining factor in making hip hop lively instead of just making hip hop a genre? Mm. I 
can answer that. Uh, well, so you know, Soldier Boy's in the the media right now. Dre. <laughs> yeah, so he's in the media right now. Um, I was a huge Soldier Boy fan. He can tell you like all the dances and whatnot. Still but um, that question. It's a good question. Yeah, it's a good question. <laughs> but um, me, I just like to have fun. I like to have fun. I like my the crowd to enter, like be entertained when I perform. I don't want you to just sit back and relax. I want to get in tune with you. I want you to when D, when you hear D Train, a lot of performances that I do is always when you're performing, when you're performing, because they know when I hit that stage, it's going to be interaction with you. I'm not just going to grab the mic and. Press play. I'm talking to you. I'm getting you in groove before. I'm getting you to sing the hook before I even. So bringing that fun and also with hip hop is like, how can I put it? It's important. It's definitely important to get that that interaction with that crowd. Make it fun. Don't make it a whole shoot 'em up, shoot 'em up type of thing. You get what I'm saying? Definitely. Yeah. Repeat that question one more time. I'm, I'm gonna make sure. I'm gonna make sure I'm on point with that. Why is it important to have the peace? fun, love, and unity aspect of it important, not only for music, but based on the culture. Um, based on the culture. Man, music is powerful, mm -hmm. you know? Um. <laughs> Man, I'm, you know? I'm, I'm to I know one thing. Yeah, okay. yeah, I mean, yeah, well, yeah. Well, well, let's, 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 let's re- Let's reinvigorate the question by giving it a different type of tense and then how I ask it. Let me ask you this question. Hip hop is organic. Okay. Hip hop comes from God. No matter what anybody thinks, music is a godly thing. And you know, we have a heartbeat, we walk on rhythm, we think in step. Mm -hmm. Actually, when we say um, we're in tune, tune is a, ryth is a rhythm rhythmic yeah. word. It's all about yeah. rhythm. It's all about life. So, hip hop being alive means that it has to grow on both sides of the fence to affect the world. Mm -hmm. That's what makes it culturally relevant. Why is it dangerous to put hip hop in a box and not give each other, anybody, the different sides of the culture? Because people won't be able to express, like, you know, how they really feel. The true meaning you know, of the feel. Yeah, like, yep. you know? You can't box in, you know, emotions and, you know, you got to let people express themselves so people can, you know, feel and understand, you know, where this great music and tune and all of these pieces is is coming from. That's another reason why a lot of people got different sounds right there. Yes. That's a big reason. It's powerful. <laughs> like, you can't, you can't box that in. You got to let, you know, artists and creative Basically people express of themselves. Yeah. Going off of it's off, yeah, feeling. And, but, but you know what's expression. deep about that? Um, we just went to the... Uh, the Garden of Variety show in Trenton yesterday. And we seen hip hop from Delaware and all parts of Jersey. Mm -hmm. And that by itself goes to show you that hip hop is more godly than man made. And I'm gonna tell you why I say that and I'd like to get your response. Hip hop is more godly because God has to be the most flavorful essence that ever lived. He got all the sauce. Think yeah. about it, a maple tree and a palm tree. Same function, different look. <clears throat> How about this? A cougar, a cougar and a jaguar. Mm -hmm. Same cat, different style. Yeah. Man, different parts and regions of the earth, different instruments, same result. Style and rhythm. So when it comes to perfect sound, what is the style and rhythm that they give to the world that makes them unique? <laughs> mm, so. Style and rhythm. Um, the style of rhythm. What do you think, Trent? What type of sound do we get? Get feed off? Like, what does the our viewers and listeners get from our sound? What do you think? Why don't you take the lead on it? Style of rhythm. Ooh. Man. I feel like when you're able to throw on a D train of artist type of song, you're definitely going to get in the mood and you're definitely going to have a good day throughout the day. Listen to D Train the Artist song. Yeah, that bell y'all hear, that's inspiration. <laughs> you heard about that. That's, that's for my type of music that I make. Um, I would say that this would, this would bring me back, you know, to character and personality, mm -hmm. you know? Define that. Um, you know, 
who you are, you know? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I really even just like that. <laughs>